Hi, I'm Mel B, and I've written a book called Brutally Honest. My name's Joe Brand, and I've written a book called Born Lippy. Yes, you probably know me from a little show called Strictly Come Dancing. Hi, I'm Roger Daltrey. Hi, I'm Gary Barlow. My book, A Better Me. My autobiography, Me and the Table. How to be a footballer is available on Audible. Please download somehow. Today. You know, the media have portrayed me. Uh, I think the Daily Mail, um, well, they did a feature on me where I was compared to a woman that looked after her appearance. So there's her nice hair, nice nails. Me on the other side, looking like somebody just pulled me out of a hedge. The idea of a group that had had success in the 90s coming back and being relevant again, that was the bit that shocked us. A lot of people think I'll just turn up at Strictly and think I'm like that waspish sort of creature, you know, on the Saturday that they love to hate. They were taking so much of this stuff that they were playing so fast I could hardly get the lyrics to the songs. And of course, immediately Keith came off stage. Where's my stash? I said, I flushed it down the toilet. And he, he attacked me with a tambourine. It's actually at David Beckham's, he had a World Cup party at his house and I uh, got on the dance floor, did the robot. Lad said, right, if you score on the weekend, you've got to do it. And then it just went mental. When my mother passed away on my 65th birthday, it was the beginning of the exploration of this work that I needed to do for myself to find my own story. Um, otherwise, I would never move on in my life. It's 30 years of Take That, 30 years of music. And it feels like we're drawing a lot of lines sort of in the sand, really. If I could have had that, my book, it would have saved me a little bit. Whether it be you notice it in a friend or a family member or even your own kids, I think it's important that you share that and you educate people from the ground upwards that that's unacceptable. You know, then in 93 when I bowled the gadding ball, that changed my life. There's no school you go to to try and learn that. Never gone into detail at all before about about, about anything, really. I said like the first half is like the, the, the massive success I had so early. The second half is, is how I slowly declined from being uh, that winning machine. I've written this really to enlighten people. Here are all the appalling things I did when I was a teenager. Don't do any of them. Oh, all right, do them if you have to. 